If you miss watching the Jersey Shore, well, don't despair because MTV has a brand new hit reality series set to premiere January 3rd, and it's called Buck Wild. And it follows a group of kids just out of high school in West Virginia, and they're portrayed in the teaser as very stereotypically like hillbillies. It features these kids rolling down a hill in tires, shooting guns, drinking, four-wheeling, and also when you watch the teaser, they'll say that they don't uh, use the internet, they don't use phones, and the senator of West Virginia is pissed, saying that Buck Wild is full of horrible stereotypes about his state. Thoughts, five words or less. It's my family. <laughs> Have you seen Squidbillies? No. <laughs> West Virginia is now relevant? Mm. I'm definitely watching. Yeah. I cannot wait. Do you guys agree with the senator? What was West Virginia's reputation before that it's getting sullied? Like, oh Wrong no, turn. nobody Wrong ever turn, talks about it. Yeah. Nobody ever thinks about it. No one ever talks about it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like nobody ever thought like, oh, I thought it was a bustling metropolis. The hill yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing that people have to understand. In life, the stereotypes exist for a reason because mm -hmm. there are people who are like right. that. Although I will say this, I've traveled to West Virginia. Girl, it ain't much there. <laughs> I mean, my thing is, to me, if the senator, okay, girl, you have nothing, girl, how about you use this show to get some coins? Yeah, yeah. yeah. rolling through West Virginia, maybe people yeah. will actually visit. It might yeah. bring tourism we can get some or Walmart something. in there. Uh, do you yeah. think, though, that the people of Buck Wild, do you think that they really do live this way? Or do you think, yeah. because it's a reality show, that it, that it is, you know, gussied up? I know they live that way, okay? okay. It's real, look. My yeah. cousins have scars everywhere from, like, flipping over their four-wheelers, mm -hmm. and, like, okay, some of my cousins don't do that. A lot of my cousins do do that kind of stuff. Like, it's gotten to a point where, yes, okay, mm. everything that I saw in that trailer, I was like, oh my God. check. It looks check. fun. It looks fun. Also, it's like when you're that age mm -hmm. and there isn't that much, much to, to do, do right. you you're improvise, creative. you get Ooh. creative. Yeah. It's This is when the difference between white and black kicks in. Because I, let me say I have never seen a black person rolling down a fucking tire. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my idea of fun. Right. But I will say it's, it's fun to watch, just like Jackass. Right. However, with this Breaking Amish and all these different shows that is coming out, at this point I'm just enjoying it for the entertainment value. Mm -hmm. But it's like, girl, this shit is fake. Like, I do think like maybe they're setting they're, situations they up. They set situations but it's up. it's real how they're they respond. They're like, hey, you're gonna go down to the swimming hole today and so-and-so is gonna say this about you. Right. I said mm -hmm. this about you. What are you going to, how are you going to react? Right. But that mm -hmm. is. But they're still living like, the way they are. It's a good sociological okay, right. study true. to right. see like how their culture lives because I've never how grown up that way. But it's a whole world. the politicians in West Virginia have anything better to do than, than to focus this. a lot about this on this reality show? Is there anything else going on? Let there? me tell you something. We are going through a situation where there aren't those many jobs. These people are now employed. What were they doing before this? <laughs> they have jobs. They're getting paid. Teddy <laughs> Boo has a job. She may have gained 30 pounds and maybe she's going through childhood <laughs> obesity. But the bottom line is, she has a job. Right. And we should ask people that are watching if they're from West Virginia, what do they think? But yes. they don't have the internet, so we can't ask them. <laughs> what do you guys think about this new show, Buck Wild? Any West Virginia people out there, let us know <laughs> your thoughts. We want to know. And will you it's tune in time. on January 3rd? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.